Hi, and welcome to the course, The Introduction to Urban Informatics, Data-Driven Decision-Making for Cities. I'm Amir Hajrasuliha, architect, urban designer, and city planner, and assistant professor in the Department of City and Regional Planning at Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. This is the second course in the series of Smart Cities. If you have not watched the first course, Introduction to Smart Cities, I invite you to take that course prior to taking this course. The Internet of Things and Big Data are making cities transparent, conscious, and connected. Urban informatics is a relatively new field that uses the emerging data types to better understand how cities see, feel, think, and work, and make better data-driven decisions. For example, in 2016, Tekja, a London-based data visualization company, used real-time Twitter data to visualize what is the overall mood of residents in different boroughs of London. Or in 2015, the city of Seattle used data from a run and cycling tracking app called Strava to evaluate its bicycle plan and test the effectiveness of the new protected bicycle facilities in their downtown core. Data is the key player in all of these projects. In the previous course, Introduction to Smart Cities, you learned about the core functions of a smart city, from collecting data, processing, communicating, analysis, and finally, making data-driven decisions. The truth is, this process is not necessarily linear. It's more of a spiral process. The outcomes will be evaluated and ideally, the system will refine itself for the next data-driven decision. So in a sense, urban informatics is the engine of smart cities that keeps them functioning, updating, and optimizing urban life. This course covers a number of urban informatic case studies affecting the everyday lives of citizens and the efficiency of cities. You will understand how urban informatics work. You will learn about some technologies and concepts influencing urban informatics, including big data, machine learning, data visualization, and data-driven decision-making. By the end of this course, you will have a better understanding how urban informatics is changing our cities. This course is organized around the steps of urban informatics. These six steps, collecting data, processing, analysis, presenting, and data-driven decision-making, and evaluating outcomes are common steps in any planning process. But in recent years, technological advancement in te digital technology, and ICT in particular, has shaped new field of urban informatics, which relies on these emerging technologies and concepts. We will go over the key influential forces in each step. We will start with collecting data, and through a case study, you will learn how big data and emerging data sources are changing the planning process. In the data processing section, you will learn about cloud computing, open data protocols, and stream processing. In the analysis section, you will be introduced to the basic concepts of AI and machine learning. You will learn how AI is already reshaping cities. In the presenting section, you will be introduced to an emerging visualization technique. In chapter six, you will learn about some tools and approaches such as data-driven dashboards, data sharing, web-based engagement platforms, that have facilitated the integration of values such as transparency, collaboration, and participation in the decision-making process. And finally, in the last chapter, we will talk about the importance of evaluating outcomes and the need for pursuing optimization, innovation, and security in the system. It is hoped that by the end of this course, you gain the basic knowledge of urban informatics and start visioning more efficient, sustainable, and just cities with the help of data.